What is going on everyone? I'm going to show you how to program the home link on your 2019 and newer Ram uh, 1500. Should be the same for the 25 and 3500s now. Um, I'm sure it's the same steps as the 13 to 18s, but I'm just doing this um, as a precaution. Now, they say you're supposed to have the ignition in the accessory or run position, or sorry, on, but not to start the engine. Um, I have done this with the engine running though, and it did work. So as long as you know, you have the ignition on or running, this will work. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is, if you're watching this video, you more than likely don't have anything programmed, but we're gonna start fresh. So with the ignition on, press and hold the inner and outer home link buttons. You'll see the home lights up. When it starts flashing quickly, that means everything's cleared out. There we go, everything is reset. Now there's gonna be a couple different types of garage openers. There's a standard opener and then what's called a rolling code or rolling something or other door opener. Um, so don't get frustrated. This might take you a few tries. It did take me a few tries as well. Just be patient. Uh, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is typically one of these light lenses on your garage opener will fold down. Uh, if you see an antenna hanging out, that's probably the side you want. Some openers, you'll have to like push a little button here and on this side simultaneously, they're just little tabs that you push in so that you can pull the lens down. In this case, you just go ahead and pull, but be careful, you don't wanna break anything. Uh, on previous home link vehicles that I've had, there's been just like, and this was an older garage door, mind you, there was just a square learn button that I pushed, and then you would go and hold the button on the truck, one, two, or three, whichever one you wanted to program. This one's a little different, so again, might take a few tries. Some you just push the button and then go hold the home link button. In the case of this one, you'll see there's multiple buttons here, but this one is the learn button for me. You hit it once and this light comes on. You actually need to hit it another time and it'll start flashing. That'll put it in learn mode. Um, I tried it this way, it didn't work. So then I pushed it again. So again, don't get flustered. There we go, it's flashing. Now we'll run out to the truck. This is gonna be a little difficult to film, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is have the original remote or a working remote for the garage door that you know works. You're gonna hold this button down and the one that you wanna to program to home link at the same time. And this should start flashing rapidly once it works. There we go, it's programmed. You'll notice, and then you can just release both buttons. You'll notice the garage door did shut, that's normal. I'm gonna let it close and just give it a second. Now in theory, if it worked, you should be able to hold the button down. As you see, it did a hyper flash and the door is working. Uh, it took about 10 seconds after the garage door closed and we got done with the programming before it actually worked. I assume the motor had to get out of uh, its learn mode. If it's not working, go in the house, go through the garage and you may have to push the button on the motor that you did to get it to go into learn mode. You may need to push that again to get it out of learn mode. So there's not a 100% you know, formula to this. It's gonna take a few tries. Um, again, should work to close it now. There we go. And in instances like this where there's multiple garages, uh, can do the same thing for this garage door. We can use like the number two or three slot. You can program up to three things garage doors, uh, powered gates for your driveway if you have it, uh, anything that supports Homelink. This older opener here for the third garage stall is actually a perfect example of the one I was talking about where it's just a square button. You'll push that and it should have a light there. You can see there's a green light next to it. Now for this older rolling code style, it gets a little bit tricky. Um, the, thing, the literature I was reading said that you're supposed to uh, push the learn button here and then go push whatever home link button you want. Hold it for two seconds, let go, hold it for two more seconds, and then you should be able to open the garage door. And if it doesn't work, hold it a third time for two more seconds. But that wasn't working for me. Um, I'm actually gonna have to wait Till the girlfriend gets home this is going to be a two-person job for this garage opener because sometimes home link is wrong and it's easier just to follow the directions 
on your specific opener. So this one, it wants you to hold the receiver, which this is already programmed, but in this case, the receiver is gonna be the truck. So I have to hold the home link button in the truck, hold that button down, as you can see, while holding this button down. So just to show you what it's gonna look like when we do it in the truck, I'm gonna push and hold this button at the same time as this one. Sorry for the hand in the way here. And you can see that light is going crazy. And once, it says once the uh, light on the transmitter here starts flashing, release both buttons. So now in theory, I've held down the button I want programmed. Again, pretend this is your home link because you need two people for this. Pretend this is your home link. When you're holding that button down and this button and they both start flickering real fast, um, let go and then just give it a couple seconds to kind of get out of learning mode. And uh, then in theory, it should work. That is a horrid sound. We need to lube that. Uh, hopefully this video was quick enough for you. Hopefully you found it informative and it helped you out. Uh, if it did, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing. Also, check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching.